Hi, this is Nathan, and we're back again with a new edition of Flick Chart 101. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to add some variety to your matchups on Flick Chart. So, as you've been ranking, you probably noticed that there's this filter bar uh, up above the posters. This is the key to finding some more interesting ways to rank than just the random filtering between the two movies that you get um, on the default all movies section. So let's go to by genre. If you click on by genre, it gives you a list of all the genres that are represented on flick chart. So maybe you wanted to look at just dramas. Just click drama and it's going to load up a pair of dramas for you. And you'll notice on the left hand side, you actually have your top 20 within that genre. So this gives you a very specific, very narrow focus with which to rank against and makes for some more interesting matchups and possibly you know, less apples and oranges since you're ranking within a single genre. And then if you go back to the main filter list here, well, we have the by date function, which lets you pick a year or decade that you might want to rank in. So let's uh, say maybe just the 2000s over the last decade. So now it's going to be the same kind of thing where all the movies are within the 2000s. And on the left hand side you have a list of your top 20 of the 2000s that you have so far that's been automatically generated from all the random rankings that you've done on the main all movies filter. And then we have the cast and crew filter which lets you put an actor or a director that you really like to rank. So let's say maybe Tom Hanks is an actor and it's going to pull up only movies that star Tom Hanks. And over here you'll have your top 20 Tom Hanks films. There's only four that's been ranked on this particular account so far, um, but you can go ahead and continue to rank even more uh, Tom Hanks movies. And of course you can do a director as well. Um, just click on the little director link here. And then say we want to do Steven Spielberg movies. Just go ahead and type and it'll auto complete. And you can rank just the Spielberg films. And it'll keep track of all the films in order that you rank them. And if all that's not enough, there's the Your Movies section of the filter bar. If you click into this, you have some refinement options. So if you wanted to do just your top 20, it's only going to let you rank movies within your top 20. Same thing with 50, 100, and top 250. So you can get really into just refining the top of your list. If you go to Your Whole List, this is only going to let you rank movies that exist on your list already. So we're talking about movies from the very top of your list at number one all the way to the very bottom of your list. So it's not just necessarily within your top 250. Maybe if you have a thousand movies on your list, you're going to get movies to, to rank against that are from, you know, like your number one all the way down to a thousand. And then there's also the only unranked filter option. And this is an interesting filter choice that lets you pick only movies that you haven't ranked yet. So these are movies that haven't come up as an option for you to rank yet. And this lets you add more movies to your list by seeing all these movies that haven't been ranked on your account. So that's it. Those are some of the really interesting ways to use the filter to get some variety in your matchups and make it a little bit more interesting, less random, and more specific and focused. Thanks for watching.